The Latino Slant presents Slant News Flash Entertainment stories from around the world Give us cinco minutos We'll give you El Mundo uh, Mr. Olmos, in regards to Gregory Cortez You know, there's other quote-unquote banditos of that before him all including him which inspired zoro and uh, the batman batman joaquin murieta vasquez um would you like to see some of those other uh you know uh heroes or you know uh legends on the on the big screen i mean they're part of california history part of a united states history what's, what's your feeling on that you you uh must be channeling a great understanding of what's coming uh, yeah, we're in the process of right now doing Joaquin Murrieta. Oh, and really? I'll be directing it. Yeah. And wait, uh, wait, you're you're probably directing that? Or yeah. Did you just? Wow. Wow. Yeah. A very, very, very undoing. <laughs> it is an amazing journey we're about to take. And, and it's not that it's a big explosive story. It's just it's where Zorro comes from. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Zorro <laughs> came from from uh, Joaquin Murrieta and and. Uh, Vasquez, Tiburcio Vasquez, and those two characters make up the, the legendary Zorro, because the, the guy who wrote Zorro back in the 19th, beginning of the 19th, 20th century. 19, yeah, 1919. 19 when? 1919, uh, The Curse of Capistrano. It, it's when Zorro the, the, was written? That's when it came out, was 1919 or 1920, it was, it was published. Yeah, 1919, yeah, mm -hmm. that's right, yeah. You got it. I thought it was early in 1906, 1907, but it's cool. 1919. <laughs> right. I'm trying to add up. It was up there. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, basically uh, the story of Joaquin Murrieta is going to be something that will be very, people will be very happy that we did it. And uh, we're going to deal with the same flavor that we've got in the ballet, or, or Cortez, with the same aesthetic. And, nice. Uh, yeah, it won't be a blockbuster at the beginning. But hopefully, because it'll be streaming. So I think people will start to learn about it and get to, get to see it. Millions of people will see it because it'll be streaming on one of the streamers. I don't know which one we're going to use yet. But, and I, I that, have no idea when I ask this question. I know. I know. You, you, know, you, <laughs> yeah. you, you went, you're hopefully wishing that we would make more movies like that. I, I've been trying <laughs> to do Vasquez for since 1979 when I did Bandido for Luis Valdez up in... in, in uh, Teatro Campesino, I created Tiburcio Vasquez on stage. First. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. I thought and that was uh, A. Martinez. A. Martinez. A. Martinez did it on, at the... Uh, uh, um, PBS or something. No, he did it... In, well, they eventually did it on PBS. Right, right, he did right. It originally on stage at the Mark Taper. I created the role at the... Uh, uh, at the Teatro Campesino. In San Correct. Martinez. Gotcha. Gotcha. And after I created it, I went off and I was doing other work, and then he got A. Martinez to play him on, on the stage, and then they went on to complete and do the rest of it again. But um, this is uh, this Joaquin Murrieta is a little different. Um, this is a sad, tragic story, and a true story. And uh, he's a true bandido. The ba with Gregor Cortez, he wasn't a bandido. Right. They Cortez was, was mistaken. Was Correct. They Correct. They said he was a gang guy, but. He, Real quick, they found out that, uh, not real quick, but after 600 Mexicans were killed by the Texas Rangers in a matter of a few weeks. Okay, that's, that's a real tragic. You know, we didn't emphasize that understanding. We just knew that, we showed that they were just killing randomly yeah. Mexicans. Every Yeah, you know that was not, them? yeah, that was, they, yeah. The, I'm sorry, the storytelling was, was, was done very well. I think if that was made today, I think it would have been it would have been like just a little hammered too much, heavy handed. Maybe um, you know, it depends um, on who's making it. That's true, sir. You're absolutely right. Um, but either way, it did happen. <laughs> yeah, it did. It's a true story. And uh, with, you know, stand and deliver and Selena, right? American me. Slant Newsflash was recorded at the Slant Studios. All information has been pre-approved by our Slantino staff of Chicanos, Cholos, homeboys and homegirls. Keep your slam fuerte.